My name is Sebastian, I'm 24 years old. I'm currently enrolled in University of Sussex where I study my postgraduate in climate change development and policy. Before that I studied my undergrad at University of Roskilde where I studied social science, major in international studies. And before that I took my high school degree at uh, High School of Bonholm on the island of Bonholm. I chose to do my postgraduate at University of Sussex for two reasons. First of all, that's I wanted to study something with development and climate change. And there's nothing with development and climate change in an interdisciplinary course in Denmark. So I had to look abroad for that. I found one in University of Sussex, which was at least University of Sussex was ranked first in international development. I thought that was a perfect match. Uh, second of all, there's also the whole social dimension of studying abroad. First of all, you learn a lot about yourself and put yourself in a position where you don't necessarily know anybody and sort of put yourself in a position where you have to be social in a, in a lot of new ways that you haven't perhaps tried before. And second of all, you also meet a lot of people from different nationalities, different cultures, and you learn a lot about their different cultures. My experience has been really good. There was no really freshman week on the postgraduate, which you could kind of miss coming as a new person in a new town, don't know anybody. It could be nice to have sort of a freshman week. But besides that, uh, I quickly met new people, got social relations there. My housemates was really nice, got a lot of friends from that and their friends. Uh, Education-wise, it was also really good. Different education system, obviously, than the Danish. Uh, taught in English, which was not that big of a difficulty, actually, a challenge. Um, I think it was really learnful. Learned a lot about myself and, and the topic, the interdisciplinary course that I took was, was good as well. I think the biggest difference studying at an English university compared to a Danish is first of all that the courses are worth 30 credits equal to 15 ESTS points which is, which is a lot. Uh, you're based on one assessment. Uh, in Denmark it would probably be 7.5 ESTS points and 15 credits and perhaps one or two different assessments. So your assessments in at least at my University of Sussex really matter a lot. Uh, second of all, you had or I had um, seminars. I was not. You only have lectures, but you also have seminars where you're sitting together with people from your class and you discuss different topics and the, whatever you learned in your class. And I think that is really helpful in a lot. It makes you reflect, hear different perspectives from people with different backgrounds, different cultures, different educations in a lot of cases and that really expands your horizon and your understanding of the topic. My best tips to people seeking abroad to the UK is certainly put a lot of effort into the, to the introductory work, look for scholarships well ahead, uh, look for a place to stay well ahead and expect that your budget will be, you will go over your budget for sure. Yeah. Social matters will definitely be more expensive than you anticipated, uh, hopefully.